Hi everyone, so for today's video, we're gonna do a little latte girl moment. Why not? I went viral on TikTok a few months ago, but I thought the fall season is among us. I love fall, pumpkin, spice, lattes, all year round in my opinion. But this is giving soft, velvety skin, but still luminous, lots of brown, orangey hues. So let's just get right into it, y'all. So first things first, we're gonna do things different and we're gonna start off with the eyes. And I'm gonna go ahead and prime them using this concealer by um, e.l.f., the Hydrating Camel Concealer in the shade Light Peach. And this is unusual for my makeup routine. I don't ever prime my eyelids when I do any eyeshadow. Um, so yeah, let's just see how this is gonna turn out. That's probably way too much product, but whatever. <laughs> excited for fall this year i've been telling all my friends my boyfriend i don't know why it's barely mid september well i mean that is technically fall and then october is right after duh <laughs> but don't you guys just love fall like the rain that's when the day after it rains how the fall it just smells like rain you feel a cool gentle breeze upon you while you're holding your hot chocolate or like pumpkin spice latte. I just miss and love that. So summer is over. I'm saying it's officially over, but I don't know. It's still hot here in LA. And with the Tartlet palette, thank you girl who gave this to me, Austina, love you forever. Um, we're gonna go in with, y'all can see my little coffee right there. We're going straight into the dark shade. So I'm gonna try to do like a winged out smoky moment, kind of like 90s inspired matte, but latte vibes. So this is the shade Wanderer and let's just get into it. I know this is gonna be pigmented and scary. I'm also going right to work after this, so I don't want this to be too much, but then I do. So I'm focusing most of the color on the lid, but not like so much up here as I get it up there. I'm just like packing it. I'll smoke out the edges, and that's why I wanted to do my eye makeup first, so that way I can clean this up if it gets like too messy. This is Morphe M504, and I'm gonna blend out the edges of that because I don't want it to be super dark and super harsh. Going in with the same color, Dreamer. Tap off the excess and just tap that here, tap it in there. And you're just going back to darken up what we laid down earlier. With that clean brush, this has nothing. And then I'm gonna go in with Free Spirit. And we're gonna blend out the top part of the eye, just here. Because the shape isn't really putting the dark color all here. It's just mainly in this section below that area. There's a fly in here. Ew. Ah! I think that's the format I want the shape to look like. Because it's very like, smizy. When with my Morphe Tried and True highlighting brush, look how old this is. I literally, I think it was burnt somehow, <laughs> but it's the Morphe highlighting brush that everyone has. I'm gonna go in with this little MAC shade. It's called Gleam. I don't know if they still make this, but it just looks so gorge. And I think it would look really pretty in the inner corner. I don't need a mirror for this because this is like my favorite part. So when I do this part, notice that I'm putting it like in this little section here, not just super close here. 
I'm doing it all up in here because the light's really going to reflect and catch that area and it just gives it an overall really beautiful look. But am I a makeup artist? That looks so stunning. And it was so simple, foolproof. If I can do makeup, anyone can do makeup. Trust and believe that, girls. Okay. Let's do mascara. So I'm gonna go in with the, my favorite mascara of the moment. It's the Wet n Wild Big Papa Mascara. The logo's coming off. Y'all, this mascara is it. You want a budget-friendly mascara, $4.99, $5 that actually works, get this mascara. So that's one eye completed. I'm gonna do the brows, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, we are finally back. Both eyes are complete. As you can see, this is my little interpretation of a little soft, moment for the eye i think we slayed okay let's get into the skin of it all um should i prime should i not um no primer so we are gonna go in with the wet and wild photo focus foundation a favorite here on this ch channel favorite here on this channel foundation gives me that soft that velvety mattified look that I love in my foundations. Been using this forever. And now that I'm getting back into like glam makeup, I need something that's gonna be able to support all this mug. We're gonna use the Morphe by Ariel brush in the A24. Fully blended. Make sure you go over the whole base just so that we make sure that everything is as blended as it possibly can. This channel and it's a cream blush and it's the color Sunset Gold. This is by um, Nude Sticks. It's the Nudies Matte plus the Glow Core that is in the middle, which I'm just so curious how this is going to apply, so let's just go straight into it. I know off the bat, latte girls are no blush, is what I got from the videos I watched. A few of the videos here, I'll insert, I'll insert a clip here of the whole vibe of like the latte girl aesthetic. I know it's like a brown lid um velvet soft matte skin and also like the blush there's no blush and if there is blush i believe it would be more warmer hues like orangey reddish this type of color and just very like sculpted and like a really beautiful like brownie nudie lip as well so let's just see where this takes me i'm gonna go ahead and use my fingers because i trust that with this product i got some other colors from this line as well. But I thought, why not use this moment? And remember, I'm still going to go in with concealer and I'm still gonna go in with like my tried and true bronzer. So next, we're gonna use the Sun Dreams Bronzer by Pacifica, a favorite on this channel because this does what it says it's gonna do. And it's gonna sculpt make you look like you had a little sun because that's part of the latte girl she's out getting a latte the sun is out it's fall she has her dog with her she's a little stressed out but she's got it together like so okay and i'm gonna use the same brush that I used to blend out the foundation, I'm gonna use to blend out the um, contours or the bronzer. So I think I'm gonna start off here and work my way up. Guys, what else should we discuss? What else should we talk about? Oh my gosh. Let's talk about Vogue. Ah! Let's talk about Vogue, Vogue, Vogue. As you can see from far away, I'll insert a clip here. I was drawn to get this magazine because it has the supers, the super 
Models, hello, Naomi Campbell, Christy Turlington, um, Cindy Crawford, and Linda Evangelista, honey. I have been praying, I have been manifesting just to get a glimpse and a prayer from their gorgeousness and what they did for the world, for fashion industry as a whole. You guys, I'm just so excited to finally be signed again, which I stated that in my previous video, that I am signed. She's a signed girl, everybody. This is gonna embark on a new journey in my career. I feel like, if I can be honest, I was signed, yes, last year to these I, agencies that I had, but in all honesty, my head wasn't really in that headspace. For some reason, mentally, it was my first year moving here to LA and really just for here now, like, okay, I'm in LA now. Like, what is a girl to do out here? This is a big and scary city and LA is no joke. Now, now I understand after going through what I went through in just one year of like auditioning and like balancing my work, my life, my personal life, relationships, like my mental space, family, like all of that just came crashing down on like my brain. I'm like, okay, I need to focus on me. I need to focus on what I need to get done. And so that everyone else can like benefit from that. And I feel like now this new year is like symbolic for me and being signed again, but with an agency that truly wants to work with me is essential. So note to everyone, pay attention to this part. If you are trying to find anything, a job or find a new partner or find a new something, make sure you feel it. Like I swear intuition, all of that stuff is real. It really is real. Um, and you know when someone has good intentions, you know when someone is really passionate and rooting for you and wants to see you win and rise. And that's the way that I feel about this agency because that's exactly what they said to me. Like before I was even signed, they said, we wanna sign you, you have all of these things. And that tells me they wanna work with me, they see light in me. So if you're out there struggling and you're trying to find your way around this life, not just in LA, just know trust your inner instinct trust your gut instinct and really just pray about it and just find people find work find jobs that really see something in you and they're passionate about growing with you and for you and that's my last two cents on that topic well done blending everything out this is what it's giving just with the cream slate down Stunning the house down boots. Um, you literally just need a thimble like that, and like that. I don't want to do too, too much, but that's literally all you need. Using my hands again to blend it out. I'm gonna go down here. I always like to do this little triangle tip. That's a tip for y'all, just highlight this area, mainly. Oh my God, am I a makeup artist now? Hey. So once you have all of this blended out, I'm gonna go in with the tried and true here, the Claudely Claudele spray. Why? Because I've noticed if I just go in straight with powders over this, yes, it will look gorge, but I notice when I spray more um, in between like my makeup um, sets, if that makes sense, like I lay down my creams, spray, set, and then after you set it and like say you do your lips and finishing touches, wipe that off, spray again, and then do another final spray. And it just makes it look even more beautiful, like in my opinion. Like so, make sure you really let that seep into the skin. So we are 
back and I'm gonna go in with my Nabla setting powder, duh. Not too much, that's too much. Swirl, tap, and back. <laughs> it's about to be really loud here. So just tap off the excess and then make sure everything is blended out under the eye because that's where we're gonna set first. This is a light set also. Just tap, tap, and I always go down here. Here. Like that. So now we're gonna go in with setting the outer corners of the face with my favorite Kosas Cloud Set in the shade Breezy. We just use this large, like, fluffy powder brush. And then grab some more. And then I'm gonna set the powder. That looks so good. I'm so proud of myself with this makeup look. Next, we are going in with one of my favorite brightening powders. This is by Essence. It's the Banana Brighten Up powder. And I'm gonna use this just in this little region to really help that area pop. And this is like my favorite part of any makeup look because I think it just makes it look super transformed. And it makes like the biggest difference in the makeup routine. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. That. For the lips, I'm going to use this little liquid lip powder kiss liquid lip color. This is by MAC Cosmetics and it's in the color Pretty Pleats. So this looks brownie burgundy to me and it reminds me of fall. So I'm going to start off in the center. First off, it heals so luxurious and very soft, soft. It looks like I just had a little latte. <laughs> then I'm gonna go in with Sugar Plum, which is like a deep, dark, um, nude sticks, nude skin, hydropeptide lip butter, shea, and avocado. And I'm just gonna apply this directly so you can see it's pretty dark in the center ahead and wipe off all of this and I will show you the full reveal hello we're all done with this little latte girl inspired makeup what do you guys think I think we slayed I think it looks absolutely stunning for me to be able to do this look y'all can easily achieve this so this is what it's giving it's giving cloud set matte skin velvety sheen to it it's giving brown tone i hope you guys enjoyed this little makeup tutorial for today thank you guys so much for staying tuned and supporting my channel if you haven't yet subscribed what are you waiting for? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down there below. I have a lot of new things coming in and planned in the works. Promise you it'll be a fun, worthwhile. So hit that notification bell so you can be reminded when I post a video. Hello. Yeah. And give this video a thumbs up if you found this helpful, informational, or I gave you a bit of wisdom, inspiration. And if you guys want to stay up to date on my journey, acting, my modeling career, go ahead and follow my direct website, martinarobledo.com, where I have my updated acting reels, model portfolio, and my self-help blog. Hello, let's get it together with our mental health. Um, if you want to stay up to date with my more everyday life, then go ahead and follow my Instagram. It's at martinaxfabe, as well as my TikTok all social media platforms at martina x babe i guess that's all for this video thank you all so much for watching and until next time bye